So that was starch, which is the alpha D form of glucose stitched together, and cellulose is the beta D form, and that is structural. And that's used for energy storage in the plant. Sorry about the G. That's supposed to be a G, believe it or not. Um, and that it doesn't look like a G either. Does that look like a G? That looks like a G. Right, energy storage. Um, what was I going to say? Yes, I know. <laughs> Here we go. So this is the cellulose chain. Now I'm going to have to be a little bit um, free and loose with the way I'm drawing these structures now because unfortunately it's extraordinarily difficult to draw these three-dimensional structures on a board and if I did draw them it would be it wouldn't be very easy to understand. So the idea here is that we have all these hydroxyl groups arranged in a very regular pattern on the cellulose chain and the adjacent cellulose chain has hydroxyl groups arranged in the same pattern so that we get this ability to hydrogen bond between the adjacent chains. So I've talked about this before. But it's because of the uh, regular pattern, the regular arrangement of the hydroxyl groups that this hydrogen bonding uh, occurs. And we end up with these extremely strong um, associations between the glucose, sorry, the cellulose chains in uh, these more, um, these larger entities which are called elementary fibrils, which are the fundamental building blocks of the fibrils or the microfibrils in the, uh, in the wood cell wall. So these things have extremely high uh, tensile strengths, very, very high tensile strengths. Uh, and they're not accessible to water. So if we get cellulose and we put that in a weakly acidic environment, such as is in our stomach, it passes right through. It just isn't broken down. So when we think about our diets, back to food again, uh, it's getting this balance right. A bit of starch doesn't hurt anybody, but a load of starch and not enough cellulose not good. So you've got no roughage and you've got an awful lot of sugar going into your system. So um, this is what is called um, fibre. That's what it's referred to in the food science or in food literature. So uh, cellulose is a good thing, uh, even though we don't actually use it as an energy source, it's a very good thing in our diet. And of course trees use it because it has this very, very good, very um, good tensile strength.